mind is sensation one. Hello fellow scientists, my name is Professor Leo. Today I will be showing you how water molecules can actually move. Firstly, a little background scene. A solvent is a substance that can dissolve another, e.g. water. A solute is a substance that can be dissolved by another, e.g. salt, sugar. For experiment, we will need sugar, salt, two potatoes, a spoon, three labels, a paper towel and a plastic spatula. Firstly, cut the potatoes in half, then use a spoon Fry to dig a hole in the middle of the kitchen towel. We use this plastic spatula to get in the sugar potato because there's a hole in each three of them in the sugar label. So first, make it look like it's upright. Um, yeah, like that, and then put it in the sugar section. So like that, and then we do the same repeatedly for the salt. If I can get the salt out like this, guys. <laughs> Boy, this is so difficult. Kind of, yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, so we got the salt in, and yeah. Are you guys wondering why I left the control potato out and it's got nothing in there? Well, because it's for comparison. All it is is to show you what it's like with nothing in the potato, then what it's like with other molecules in the potatoes. Minutes. see the sugar and the salt are quite wet but the control is dry because we haven't put anything in it the reason why the molecules are moved is because of osmosis water molecules pass through the side of the less solute to the side of the more solvent the cell membrane, a process called osmosis. In this experiment, the water in the potatoes went through its cell membrane to the side with more solute. That is to the side of the sugar or salt. I hope you like my experiment of the crying potato. Science sensation two. Right guys, today I'll be showing you that in this one, that electricity can never be lost. Because you can see that this travels from battery to movement. Because these wires, if you turn them on, these wires will send an electrical movement to this lovely colour fan here. And it will spin around as around quite a couple of hundred miles So right hour. guys, I'm going to put the circuit together now. It will probably take me about a minute. So here we go. First, put this electrical wire in there and jab it in like that so it's securely in and you know it won't come out. You've got to stand it upright like this and put it in this cable here, number two. Right guys, I'm nearly finished. There we go. So let's press the on button and see what happens. Thank you for listening to me today, fellow scientists. Hope you keep busy on science. Goodbye.